I love my Raptors fans. The Raptors beat the San Antonio Spurs in overtime, 123 to 116. I'm not going to show you highlights. Enjoy. The next game is on Wednesday in Dallas. Create some problems with the physicality. And then Yama finds Sohan. Sohan gets denied by Pertle. Rolling is Yak. Pascal back up top. Eight on the shot clock. Seven on the clock. Schroeder with a push shot. And it goes. And Schroeder's doing his very the floor, and that three doesn't go. The sell out with a mild left groin strain. The MRI was negative. He sustained that in their last game against Phoenix as Schroeder just so quick. Teams that both turn it over at a high rate. Wembenyama, that shot doesn't go. Here's Pascal Siakam. OG Ananobi hesitating, takes the three, and it's good. OG no hesitation needed. At a young age for this young Spurs team, averaging at the age of about 23 years of age. So this is a very young team, the youngest team in the NBA. With Doug McDermott, the veteran. Look at this action. Little dribble handoff action between the legs. I'm telling you, Schroeder's doing a much better job throughout his career of just being that point guard. So he has a, the best way is to get up under him so he can't get up there, but then he has the ball handling ability that can go by you. Trent Jr. throws it down. One and 39. Um, Couple of occasions in his rookie campaign. Malachi with a three, and they need seven that. turnovers, 11 points. And the Raptors are shooting just 36% from the field. Scotty turns, fires three. Good. Three. Just, just look at that, right? You had Dennis Schroeder guarding Zach Collins. There was a mismatch, but he kicks it out to a 7 3 guy for a three. As you see OG answering with his own three ball from the corner. Sure, all the things that he can do, and then from there, they'll build on that. And that was interesting hearing Popovich talk about that, right? Because a lot of times you do have coaches and systems, as you see OG drain another three. A lot of coaches, they're so, there's so much focus on them, it really opens things up for everybody else on the court. No, for sure. And you see Collins right there running the lane, finishing as you see. Pirtle with a put back. But I love how Pascal's going to the basket now. That time he just couldn't finish, but he's getting body nicely, creates a little bit of space. As you mentioned, he got the start today, usually comes off the bench, but it's the reason why Popovich felt so confident of him going to the basket. There you go, Pascal. And we've seen Pascal being aggressive coming out in the second half. And he's not always scoring. First he was dishing, he missed his last layup. That time, he Trent Jr. Siakam, Schroeder, and Pirtle. Spurs drop into a zone. It was effective in the first half, oh, but Otto Porter did knock him down. Now seven games against San Antonio, averaging 24 points over 10 rebounds, nearly seven assists. And having that kind of day today. Schroeder with Jones on his hip. Good job controlling that. You just see him shield them off a little bit. Just keep him on his head. Like this kid out of Kentucky. He's been in the league for a while now, but he's a strong physical player. Plays with aggression. I was really impressed. He was the guy who stole the ball from KD. At the end of that Phoenix, and you see Schroeder again getting his shot in that mid range. That's offensive player, but Porter doing a nice job of staying in front, swiping down, going off his leg. Schroeder. And he's got nine in the quarter. McDermott. Five in the shot clock and a turnover. Malachi to Scotty and he's fouled. The finish. Need that energy. Good defense by the Raptors. The Spurs are doing a nice job of getting the ball, passing it around, but the Raptors being solid on defense and getting out to their bread and butter. Transition. McDermott. Rattles in a three. And you gotta stay connected to McDermott. 
They give you a little weak side action, misdirection, and leave him wide open. He he doesn't need only but an inch to see OG. With a three to made five threes. The impact is real. And you see that play developing. He's coming off a screen. He back cut to go to the basket and just threw it up there. Had their awareness to find his teammate. Scottie Good job Barnes. by Scotty Barnes. Being patient, being in rhythm. And, this, and that's been an Achilles heel for the Raptors today. Those blow by. Getting to the rack. Turned in the corner. Yes. OG, the corner three. He was six for ten from Finding three teammate with the errant pass. He made up for it. I'm telling you, you can throw that ball to the sky. And he can go up there and get it. And I'm loving Malachi's feeling energy. I like what he's bringing coming off the bench. It's Gary Trent turning the corner. Speaking of getting downhill, finishing with it. Trying to find that comfort zone in the offense. Yeah, for sure. You know, you know, in the past years, you know, Trent was somebody that was Champagne. Three doesn't go. Got a chance here to get it within range and there's Trent Jr. with a three and a timeout Greg Popovich in the rebound. Wembenyama fifth in fourth quarter scoring in the NBA. Dick gets it away from Wemby. Clock down finds Barnes and the three is good. What a pass Brady. by the young fella Matt. Finds. Benyama. That's the one time OG wasn't disciplined. Went for that steal. He's doing a nice job of staying in front. Scotty connects. He has made a three. And it's been energy, Matt. Defensively, they've been getting stops. And then they've been being aggressive, letting the shots come. In and out. Barnes handles it. Scotty backing in. Bucket. Got 20. Five point game after San Antonio led by 22. Scott B with the power move. Scotty makes a move. Gary to Schroeder. The three doesn't go. Barnes, what an unbelievable rebound. Trent Jr. Got it. What a board. And then the, the two offenses. They're both moving, but check out this rebound. Just over top of a smaller Jones, getting an oppor another opportunity. Offensive rebounds, just soaking it in. Scotty other getting big physical bigs, and Wimmy doesn't have to do that until he starts putting more muscle on and then have to create more endurance. So they complement each other well. Count the bucket. It's a two-point game with 1.45 to go. Shooter into the front court, leaves it for Scotty. Barnes backs up now over to Schroeder. Scotty attacking right to the iron. He's got 25 now. And that's what's happening. Scotty's expanded his game. You gotta respect. He's it. able to win the jump ball. You see Scotty with the blow by. Pulls up. Shot doesn't go. And a chance here for Toronto. Cut it to one or tie. Schroeder backs it out. Into the hands of Scotty B to tie it. Barnes delivers. Now, guess what? You're going to respect the blow by. And I don't care where you are. But step back a little bit and let it fly. Tony with a foul to give. Scotty. Schroeder for the win. Schroeder in and out. Wemby. Loose ball scooped up. OG ties it. One touch and great shot. But it's the hustle. What we've been talking about all fourth quarter and all second half. Schroeder, Barnes, Siakam, and OG. Here's Scotty turning, firing. Overtime. Raptors 0-1 in overtime. That loss and a rest for OG Ananobi. 4.25 to go here in the fourth. Schroeder working with Hurdle. Here's Siakam with the three. Timing for Working with Hurdle and backs in on Collins. Jakob finishes. Raptors by three. Good defense by Hurdle. What a difference. The second half now into OT. 
career best. Phoenix oh. Suns, so they're not going to get rattled. Schroeder, jumper good. Well, who did Wembenyama in? Finding the right combinations for Darko Ryakovich, and I'm sure he'll look back on this game and say, okay, we finished great, but 